I'm not gonna, not gonna let this fucking rain stop me. As you can see, weather is as bad as it gets. Hasn't stopped raining here for the last two, two days, but I'm not gonna let this stop me. I have some... Uh... I have an insole, I just got this in the mail. I wanna do it, I'm not, not gonna let this stop me. That's why I uh, initially installed this green screen right there. So I can put some kind of an effect to put a sunshine or an ocean or something really cool over here. So I just got this in the mail uh, right there. I just got that in the mail. I'm gonna unbox it with you. I want uh, you to see it firsthand at the same time I unbox it and to enjoy the excitement or disappointment from this uh, item. Always like to keep uh, the wrapping in, intact in case I need to return a, an Amazon item. Yeah, it's an Amazon item. Uh, I don't remember what uh, what I wound up ordering. I'll put a I'll put a little note over here. What uh, it's the name of this uh, the manufacturer. I'll also put a link down by the description. Yeah, pretty much. I was looking for a luggage rack. Again, I was searching all the different options, and I saw some. One of my ride buddies had something really cool, minimalistic, grill design in black. So I searched online, found an Amazon, said, you know what, let's give it a try. So here it is. It's not a big install. It's supposed to be uh, detachable, a click on. So let's see what it's like. Usually when you're uh, looking at items that are not as expensive as uh, the Harley brand or any big name, you're expecting uh, a Chinese, a Chinese made, low quality. Anyway, as I was saying, you, you always look for uh, what sacrifice are you sacrificing uh, in the quality, the quality of the build. Usually it's fitment, color, or even, you know, the, the small finesses. So let me show you what this is. First of all, when I just, whoa, just looking at it, looks actually pretty nice, pretty nicely done, nicely built. Uh, the finish, the colors, the paint, the hardware itself. This itself is, okay, I'll try it on very soon. I don't remember how much I paid for it. I'll put a, a little uh, description over here, a little tag over here, the price that I paid for it. Anyway, a link down by the description where you can actually buy it on Amazon. Bottom is connected with uh, Allen, Allen bolts. And it's pretty sturdy, it looks pretty, and it's heavy. It's not some kind of flimsy aluminum piece. It's very, very sturdy, very significant, very heavy. So let's try to, uh, you know, let, let's try to install it right now. But I actually picked these up a few days ago, again on Amazon. Magnets, magnetic covers for uh, the docking, docking hardware. Cheap, again, affordable, nicely done. And the, ma the magnets on this are pretty strong, so no issues there. Let's take them off and see if there's actually a good fitment of this rack. Pull it, put it on the, on the bike. Front first. Okay, front one slides in right here. And the other side slides just easily. Okay. Oh man, it, it went just in. It slid nicely and it's clicked and it's clicked. Look, just clicked, closed. It's locked on this side, locked on this side. It's now locked on this side. Now I'm trying to wiggle it. Man, this is, this is really nice. It slid right in both sides are aligned 
Usually there's a problem with these cheaper models is that this, this bracket right here and here, they don't have the right distance between them. Sometimes they're too close or too far out. So it doesn't sit properly on uh, the docking hardware. In this case, it, it slid just like right in, like a, like a hand into a glove beautifully. Both sides are in, there are uh, rubber grommets right here. Then the locking mechanism just went in easy, easy. That's it, it's locked and it's sitting very, very tight. Dude, this is really nice. It's really, really nice. Push the bike out a little bit so I get a little bit more light. Take a look at it now. Really, really nice. Look at it. First of all, show from profile. As I said, you can see much, much clearer now how it's nicely uh, set over here. And the locking mechanism This little latch, press it in, and then lift it. That's how, that's how you unlock it. And it's once it's in, it's not moving. Really nice, really, really nice. Even, even the alignment in terms of uh, the brackets, these grill are, are nicely, are evenly distributed on the rack itself. Really, really nice. Great, I'm, this is really good. This is, a, this is a keeper for me. I can throw away the box, really, really nice. Again, a link down by the description where you can find this. Found it on Amazon, there are so many out there. This one is tested, I really like it. So guys, what do you see, you like it? Let me know down by the comments. Planning, I don't know which one to get yet. To complete this look, a sissy bar. That's all I'm missing over here. Right here, some kind of sissy bar. Any ideas? So that's it. We're not gonna let this weather, this disgusting rain, stop us from uh, doing upgrades and posting some short, nice videos. So that's it for now, guys. Let's put it back in place and go back in to drink another cup of coffee. Do appreciate uh, if at this stage, if you enjoyed this video, of course, give me a thumbs up. Not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Make sure you hit, hit that bell so you get notifications. I'm Sandy, you're watching Holy Shift. Till the next video, peace out. Right.